This is California's Mojave Desert, a place of stark contrasts and rugged beauty. Some see the desert as a hot, dry, uninhabited place full of sand, rocks, and poisonous snakes. For a few others, when the paved road ends and the desert begins, so does the adventure. AKA Riceless 950. I love to ride my motorcycle in the desert. So let's ride. The start of the trail is really sandy with some deep whoops cut in it because it gets used by jeeps, quads, and other off-road users. So you gotta stay on the gas pretty good when you're in the sand or you'll end up laying down in it. Once you get out of the wash, it's a combination of rocks, ruts, washouts, and more rocks. In the desert, there's never a shortage of rocks. This first stop is up around 5,000 feet. Views of the desert floor are amazing. Visibility is usually about 30 miles. Well, we've got a lot more riding to do. So let's go. Nothing quite like riding a 500 pound dirt bike in terrain like this. It definitely requires concentration. The first bike I actually owned myself was when I was 10. Uh, I had been riding a mini bike with a friend of mine from school. I decided I needed one of those and uh, so I got a job delivering newspapers. As soon as I got my $75 saved up, I went and bought myself a mini bike. I quit that job. I was riding that little mini bike was a lot more fun than throwing newspapers. Hey, I know where there's some Indian paintings. See that rock down there? That's where they are. Let's go check it out. Well, this is where those Indian paintings are. I haven't really looked for all of them. I know there's a bunch in that little cove right there, but I think there's some on these here too. We gotta watch where we walk though. You're looking around like this and the snakes are on the ground. It's snake season. Hopefully they'll make noise before they do any damage. Yeah, there's some there on the bottom part of that ceiling right there or underneath that ceiling. I'm not really sure who these paintings were made by, but they were probably the Serrano tribe or Cahuilla Indians. The best ones are right here on this face down low, but a lot of them have chipped off from people building fires up against the rock. A lot of people have 
deface these things. I don't know why they do that. So when you see these paintings, don't mess with them. Don't try to chip them off and take them home. And don't paint over them. Just leave them alone so other people can enjoy them. This section requires you to have your weight in the right place at the right time with the right amount of throttle.